Welcome to this video tutorial on using Quick Mask to create selections. Um, okay, so I've got this picture of a rose of Sharon. They grow wild around my place. I can't believe how many I have. Um, so I run out and take pictures of them all the time, especially after it rains. Okay, so Quick Mask. What is Quick Mask? Well, here's Quick Mask. This is CS, Photoshop CS. It's the same in CS2. CS3 is just one button. You just tap it off and on. This is your Quick Mask palette right here tap there, double tap, and it gives you the quick mask options. You can have it for the masked area or the selected area, or you can change the color. I'm just going to stay with the default color, because that's uh, it, it works fine. Up here we have the brush. I've got the brush chosen, uh, so we'll move that out of the way. But uh, to do this correctly with a Wacom tablet, which makes it so much easier, uh, we bring the brushes palette in. Make sure that shape dynamics is set for pen pressure. That's size, okay? Uh, you can see down here, it gets small to light to, to thick to light or to thin uh, as you press harder and lighter. Okay, so we're all ready to go. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here up in this area and get my brush back again. Okay, so you can see how thick my brush is. That's how thick it is. But with pressure sensitivity, I can do this. And it makes it possible to outline this uh, Rose of Sharon fairly accurately. And this is outlining is going to take a little while, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll pause, finish it, and then come back and do some more stuff. But you can see how nicely that goes around there. Now I've got the bottom button of my pen set for the hand tool to move around the screen, so it's easy to to uh, to do that without rushing up to the keyboard to grab the uh, space key. And I'll try and keep this nice and even. Whoops, I think I went over a bit there, but we can fix that. There. So you can see how the uh, having the tablet with pressure sensitivity built into it is so useful when you're coming to something like this. Something you want to be very exact. You can use this with the uh, pressure sensitivity. You can use it with a, a selection tool for that matter as well. So I'm just going to finish this off the outline then I'll, I'll jump back in and we'll do a couple more things with it. Okay, you can see I finished the uh, outline and I made an error up here. And But I'm just going to fill in the rest of it then we'll take care of the error. So now, because I can, uh, I've got the outline there, I can press harder and get the full thickness of the brush uh, because we're set for pressure. And we come around and fill this all in. And whoops, I need another error. Oh, good. Two things to show how to fix an error. Okay, so uh, there, everything's finished inside. But I got these two little blobs here that I got to fix. So let's kind of zoom in on them and fix them up back to the brush. Now, with the default colors, with this black you get the red. If I hit the X key, white comes to the front and that is erasing. So I can erase this, my little error there. And again I'm using pressure sensitivity to, to be very exact on the edges and around here as well. There we go, got rid of that. So that's what you do when you're when you're messing around with the default colors. Okay, let's uh, let's zoom out a bit here and see how she looks. Okay, there's our rose of Sharon, um, all selected uh, or all painted. Oop, there's some place down here I want to get. Uh, I suppose I should change my default colors around, right? There we go. Kind of got it all. and out we come. There's still a few things that I could fix up, but that's okay for, for the purposes. Now, we want to see how our selection looks, so we go to, here's our quick mask which is pressed, we go here, and it turns it into a selection. Now, I can take this selection and do what I want with it. I could, uh, I could, you know, I could make it into a black and white print if I wanted to, you know. I mean, is that, uh, is that boring or what? Uh, so let's get away from there. There, back to that. Now the thing we can do uh, here is, is to jump it to a new layer, the selection. So Control or Command J puts that on a new layer. I'm going to turn off the background and that's our selection right there. And that's kind of cool. It's a good selection. Now another thing about uh, the way these go are, is, is feathering. 
Uh, let's go to select, get the selection back, select, feather. I've got a feather of 2 pixels. If I put in a feather of 10 pixels, for instance, and say OK, now jump that to a new layer, Command or Control J, and turn off the background, you can see how it's feathered it. It's, it's taken it and put it a bit off to the, you know, just grown it a little bit. So that's what feathering is all about. And that's what Quick Mask is all about. And uh, try this out. It's really a really neat technique for selecting. Uh, sometimes when you're using the magnetic tool or the, the marquee or whatever those, they, they, they can be difficult. But this is a really cool way of doing it. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, give it a try. You'll like it. It's fun to do, um, especially with a Wacom tablet, which everybody should have, incidentally. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.